Hello, welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, and give it a shot. Okay, the loudness of sound is measured in units called decibels. All right, we've got a word problem here with some context. These units are first measured by assigning an intensity I sub zero. So I just take your time, think about what's happening, right? We have, we're measuring sound, and there's different intensity levels of sound. This symbol I sub zero tells us where we're starting, and it's, it's telling us here that it's for a very soft sound called the threshold sound. So I sub zero, I'm gonna write this right here, is the threshold sound. Okay, the sound to be measured is assigned an intensity I, okay, so there's I sub zero, that's the threshold sound, and then I, which is the intensity of the sound we're looking at, and okay, the decibel rating D, okay, so decibels is measured by the variable D, and it's focused on this equation right here, okay, we've got an equation we're working with, where D equals 10 times the log of the ratio of I, the intensity of the sound we're looking at, okay, to the intensity of the threshold sound. All right, so they also give us a value, oh, one more thing, this right here, I sub zero is this number, one times 10 to the negative 12. And they wanna know uh, how would a sound with intensity, so this is our I value, not I sub zero, but this is the intensity of the sound we're looking at. What would the decibel rating of this be? So we're just gonna plug this into our formula. So let's write this down. We've got the formula that says, all right, well, um, D, our decibel rating equals 10 times the log of 6.3 times 10 to the negative third over one times 10 to the negative 12th. And this is something I would just enter on the calculator. But first let's kind of digress for a moment, back off and just explain some of the intuition about what's about to happen. Suppose for a second, I'm not solving this problem. Suppose that I'm solving this problem. Let's say the intensity is much easier. We have an intensity, I don't know, 10 to the negative fifth. Okay. And that's over the threshold sound of 10 to the negative 12. This is a log you can solve in your head because what we have is 10 times the log of 10 to the seventh. If you look at what I did right there, all I did was apply a law of exponents. We're dividing, so subtract them. Negative 5 minus negative 12 is really negative 5 plus 12, or positive 7. And this is helpful because over here we have 10, okay, so 10 times 7, because the log base 10 of 10 to the 7 is just 7, right? There's a little implied base here. It's not written, but it's a common log, so the implied base is 10. This is saying 10, the base of 10, to what power is 10 to the 7th? And that's just 7. And that would be 70. That's nice, you can do it that in your head, right? But how does that help us here? Well, this is telling me that this is really, really close to 10 times the log of 10 to the negative third over 10 to the negative 12th is 10 to the positive nine, right? Negative three minus negative 12 is nine. And also 6.3 divided by one is 6.3. I know that this answer should be really close to 10 times 9 or 90 because the log base 10 of 6.3 times 10 to the 9th is really just close to, if I go back to this other example that we just did, um, really close to log base 10 of 10 to the 9, right? So just change some of my numbers here. This is back to negative 3. And this kind of fits that model. And that would be 90, not 70. Because log base 10 of 10 to the 9th is just 9. So this is gonna be pretty close to 90. Let's just make sure we got that, pull up our calculator. Okay, so we do 10 log, here's the common log button, of 6.3 times 10 to the ninth is really just second EE9. That E there means times 10 to the power of the number after it, enter. And there you see it's pretty close to 90, 97.99 which is in the very loud range right here. So, I mean, it's really good to estimate these things because you can get a sense of what your answer should be close to even before you calculate. All right, hope that helped.